Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Beneath a Steel Sky. This is a game that was recommended to me and requested of me to play by Darko Boy. Or is that Dr. K.O. Boy? Because that would be better. This was a game that actually was over my head when I was younger, and I didn't actually get to play it along with the other point-and-click adventure games that came out at the time. This one kept coming out uh, 1994 from Virgin, um, Virgin Interactive and Revolution Software. And the minute that the title came to mind, I just had to see if I could get it running and see what I've been missing. So without further ado, let's watch the intro. The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil. Evil born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above. Across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times. But I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear. I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose anyway. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh. welcome to the Gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. 
But what was I? Why did... Sir, the guidance system, it's gone crazy. We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. What you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Right, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. And with that, the game begins. Now first off, I'm going to say that the game is actually very simple to get running because of a program called ScumVM, which you can download directly from their site. All of the information is going to be put in the video description so I'm not talking too much. Second of all, as you may have noticed that the music is slightly different. If you played this game before, you definitely noticed that the music is slightly different. Um, I actually put in a different sound font for this game into the, uh, the program in order to make the game run without all of the MIDI sound effects that the game originally had to make it sound a li little bit more real. Again, I'll put all of that information in the video description, but in, to my opinion, it actually makes this music sound a lot better. So now we control Robert Foster in his swanky coat. And this game is actually very easy to uh, run because it's a simple, you only need to use the mouse. Left click is you move around and also examine things such as the door over here and the notice. Take your sweet time. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Here's a notice. Fire exit. Do not obstruct. Key available on presentation of requisition form SOS23. And if you right click you can actually interact. But if there's nothing to interact, he just shrugs at you, breaking the fourth wall a bit. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire. So this is an adventure game in every way, shape, and form. We even have an inventory if you go up to the top of the screen. Here we have the circuit board for Joey, which we have to do because Robert said so. Now there is a guy down there, and he's pretty much looking for us. Surprised he hasn't looked up. Why not say hello? I mean, there's us being a fugitive all our time, and then us not having this problem. Except he shoots us right in the face. And welcome to the only death screen in the game. There are many ways to die, but you only get this screen, which I... It's kind of a disappointment in my, in my mind, so let's simply restart. And now we're all the way back up here. We don't even have to watch the intro again, so that's great. Now, what we actually have to do is not go down and get shot in the face and tumble down the stairs, even though that's really funny. I could really make use of that. 
Sorry, Robert. I'm, I'm gonna try not to talk over you. A lot of some of the items that you need in order to complete the game are really hard to find because they're like a couple of pixels and very thin too. But now that we have this, it's a rung or a metal bar apparently, which is a crowbar. Three different names for the same object. So what we gotta do is we gotta get this door open because there's no other way we can go. Who's up there? You won't escape that way! Not with you trundling along. Come on, guard. He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. You, lucky escape. Well, good thing you had to improvise that and not me. Security symbol. That's that must be their headquarters. And that's apparently all they have to say about the sign is security symbol. I can't do anything with the sign, and it's the only thing over here. But look at this. Look at that background. It's this game is really cool implementing comic book style uh, illustrations. Really nice to see. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. I just used it. Let's open this. Now, in ter speaking of comic book style, uh, the intro cutscene was act uh, the introduction sequence was also included in a comic book that was released to promote this game back in the day. Very rare to come by, but I think there's like one or two pictures that you can find on the internet, pretty much showing what it kind of looked like but now that we have the guard gone we can now finally go down the stairs if I could find where the stair action point is and he'll take his sweet time whatever so we still don't know where we are except there's a lot of interesting things here that panel in the floor looks like an elevator hmm an elevator it doesn't look as if it would bear my weight. And there's going to be a lot of things that don't bear his weight. So not a lot of things are actually going to bear Robert's weight, unfortunately. I guess this leads outside. Can we go outside? It's locked. No way out through there. The thing about Robert and locked doors is he always presses against it with a, just a flat palm, thinking that the door will open. Don't know how he got that reflex. It's wheezing and banging, like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. Also, this game's script is actually kind of interesting in terms of where they get metaphors and references. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. And apparently, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be able to! So, let's continue to the right, I guess. We still don't know where we are, but there's a press. That, that's gotta mean something. Now it's time to see what's in here. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. Well, yeah, we still have to know what... Where, what to do about Joey. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. But it's not working. Weird. A transport... If Joey... Yep, 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 yep. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do the display panel. Pretty lights. And a keyhole. But no sign of a key. I can't operate it without the key. And I don't have the key, so... There's a lot of useless stuff. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. There's no way of changing the sequence. Alright then. Well, we got junk on the table over here. A discarded coffee machine? Can I use it? That's no use. There's no jug. Oh, wah. You can't improvise, Robert? Whatever that was, it's beyond repair. I'm not picking it up. I don't even know what it is. Eh, alright. It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. So here's one of the things about the game, is there's plenty of shells, robot shells, that can be used. It's got no circuit board. And luckily, I have one. So, if we go to the inventory and right-click on it, 
We can pick it up and then right click it again. And we can put it in the shell. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down and keep out of the way of security. So, Joey is our first interesting character of the game. He's our sidekick and he has a bit of a snarky attitude to our, towards him, which makes him surprisingly likable, I think. He also likes following us around. But anyway, we need we need information because Joey provides us with information. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. What is this place? It's not worth explaining. You're too thick. Nah. <sighs> Except he doesn't really help at all. Can you start that transport? Do yourself, Foster. I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Well, what can a cleaning droid do, huh, you Mr. Smartass? What tools does that shell have? None of any use, unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool, and an extendable probe. That does something or other, I didn't really know. And apparently I can't start the transport work because he doesn't want to. Any human activity nearby? How should I know? The shell sensors are useless. Don't be so depressed about it. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. And he can be a bit fussy. About that temporary shell, Joey. I don't want to talk about it. Don't be embarrassed about it. I'll find you a new shell, I promise. I should hope so. Marvelous! I get kidnapped, nearly killed in a copter crash, hunted by professional thugs, and I'm stuck with a robot in a sulk. We're in the perfect predicament of our lives! It's so great! We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Now here's one thing about the dialogue. Uh, some dialogue options actually have uh, between two and three different options. I'm going to be showing off as many as I can. I may miss one or two. Sorry. But what I'm going to do is I've already um, pre-recorded the bottom options. So I'm going to go with top options as much as possible. Unless um, the bottom option is completely worthless or end the conversation. Don't you miss our home? The gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. We don't belong here. Speak for yourself. I reckon I could get to like it here. Can you start that transport? Can you? You don't give up, do you? Nope. Have you found out what's wrong with it? No, I'm not sure. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Can you start? You don't give up. Have you found? No. Why don't you just look at it? You're such a lazy robot. Oh well. Oh, well, there's this lift here. Lift. An elevator to the floor below. Alright, anyways. Might as well go into the next room here. If Joey will get out of the way. There we go. What do you want? Uh-oh. Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Nobody told me. I'm too busy to show you around. Don't worry, I can show myself around. You won't even notice I'm here. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. And that's an iconic line there from Mr. Man, who we don't know his name. Excuse me. So let's talk to him some more in the designated s discussion area. What now? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. So this is Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, to be precise. 
I'm gonna talk more about Hobbins in a minute. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city with the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You been up there? It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. Well, what kind of a fire escape is that when it's not much of an exit? Oh well. Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Well, there we are. We're in Union City in a recycling plant. Now, one thing about Beneath the Steel Sky is that it's apparently set in Australia. In a unknown point in the dystopian future. And Australia has been split into six city-states, including Union City being one of them. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. And there's more information about we're in Erie Tower on the very one of the very tops of the city. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Cause Rice boys are guarding the exit from the plant. And that's why we can't leave. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. Which isn't working. What did security want? After a saboteur. You seen anything suspicious? Well, uh? I saw a wrecked helicopter. Yeah. Seems it blocked the walkway. So we're stuck in this block. Only an overzealous security agent. That would be right. Best to avoid him and his bully boys. What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? Well... It's very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum. <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard craft. I don't think much of the paintwork. Yeah, I know what you mean. I thought about redecorating, but I couldn't be asked. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. Alright, so the transport. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Alright, so there's Mr. Hobbins, Howard Hobbins. Now one thing while I was actually looking up stuff for the game, I came across the instruction manual for this game. And I have to say it was an interesting read when two-thirds of the manual are not for the game at all, but for background information. And by background information, they actually talk about a total of, uh, I believe, 21 individuals in the game, all given specific dossiers. And all the dossiers have to do with specific um, suspicious activity that each individual is working with. Except for one, which is uh, Officer Reich. Because the instruction manual is less of an instruction manual and more of a security briefing that Officer Reich has on him. So it's really interesting. Hobbins has an entry in and a dossier. He lives on Granville Heights, wherever that is. It's in one of the other blocks. But Hobbins shows utter contempt for authority. Numerous complaints have been made against him for attitude maladjustment and antisocial behavior, but they've never been pursued by the city's personnel correctional council. Several ongoing cases pending. Possible case for social indoctrination bio-lobotomy. 
Serious case not suspected. And maintain surveillance and report any further behavioral anomalies. Or abnormalities. Tree world. See the world as your ancestors saw it. Full of trees and stuff. One thing I forgot to mention about um, Australia in this dystopian future. Outside of each of the six city-states is the Gap, where Robert comes from. The Gap is pretty much the outback, in, I believe. Insurance certificate. Years out of date. But yes, while I'm going through this game, I'm going to be trying to do my best to talk about every single dossier that there is in the game. And I believe there's a total of 20 of them. These displays mean nothing to me. Specifically, 20 of them. And that's one thing that Robert loves, is buttons and monitors that are absolutely pointless. Lots of buttons just asking to be pressed. Okay. There must be a secret combination. Oh, well. It's displaying technical information. This room kind of gets a little bit clustered with both Joey and Hobbins going around here. Especially when Joey gets in your way all the time. Joey. Come on, there you go. It doesn't move. Well, that's because the lathe is being used, or the laser is being used, to be precise. Sleek, high precision, and high powered. Let's put a hand in there. Nope. Apparently not. And a lathe. It's more impressive than the ones back home. So the lever pretty much just stops the lathe in its tracks. So we have nothing else to do in here at the moment. So we're going to head out here and see what we can do about this lift. This looks like it can support our weight, so we might as well just... Hey! What are you doing? I told you already. Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator! I can't hear myself think! Right, because of the alarm, I'm supposing. Now, what we have to do is we have to go through this place now that Hobbins is out of the room as fast as possible and get to this cupboard and take what's in it. A sandwich and a wrench. And you have to do it while he's out of the room. Once he gets back into the room, he will suspect you and kind of kick you out of the cabinet door. So we got a wrench which is a standard 30 millimeter wrench, and a sandwich, which is uh, something. Now one thing we can actually do with Joey is we can actually use items on Joey, and he'll give us an analysis. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's a metal bar. What sort of metal? It's an alloy of iron and carbon, commonly known as steel. Good to know. What's in the sandwich? Give me an analysis, Joey. It contains flour, water, vegetable oil, salt, egg, garlic, with glycerin, and pig lungs. Oh, disgusting. So it's sausage. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, well, it's mostly fat and gristle anyways. Now, every time we do this, he always says, give me an analysis, Joey, so I'm gonna try and skip that. Give me a 30 millimeter wrench, and you can keep it away from my nuts. Well, excuse me, Mr. Sassy. Joey, you're in the way. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can do about that transport, because apparently the thingamajig is broken. Hopefully that's enough information for maybe Joey helping us fix it? Or maybe we can use the wrench on there. Also, some of the lines apparently don't have voices to them, so... Yeah. Apparently we... can we? Can you start that transport? How do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. Thingamajig. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. Alright, and now we just... Yeah, we simply have to wait for Joey to make... to circumvent the lift. This is embarrassing, Foster. What? You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you? 
Now, one thing there is, is a lot of, um, how should it be put? More mature senses of humor, I suppose. It, it turns more into sexual innuendo, though. And now we can see that that transport robot is functioning, picking up that thing, and coming back this way. So we actually have to wait for him to complete his route, because he is going to put that barrel onto this lift. So let's go all the way over here. I'm just going to get in position, because uh, if you're not in the right spot when he's coming back, uh, you'll have to wait for him to get another one of those things in order to actually go here. He's going to put it on the lift, and it's going to go down, and then you just got to jump in the hole when the hole is access. Well, now apparently everything has a nice shade of red, and it's probably by the furnace. Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. It's going to be you if you start taking things more seriously, Robert. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. You're curious to put your hand in there, aren't you? There's a big, nice camera that's blinking, which is not friendly. That thing's watching me. Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. Yes, you are, Robert. It's much too high to reach. Of course it is. As you can see, Joey apparently can fly. Don't know why. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. Ah, yeah, well. This must be where the scrap gets melted. Is that why you brought me here? Don't worry, kid. They'd only take premium quality scrap. There's a nice rough relationship between those two. I can tell. Think this could be a way out? Through the furnace? I don't rate our chances. If you can't be sensible, be quiet. Oh, but if he's... Then it'll be quiet for the rest of the game, and that'll be no fun. I think we're being watched. They seem to think you're someone special. I can't imagine why. You're obviously more special, Joey. Forget it. And then at the end, he always just dismisses. So there's a door over here, and we have to do something That's about this. That's got to be a way out. Now, as of this point, we actually can't go up the lift in order to get out. So we're stuck in this room. Push on that door. Just push on that door, Robert. No buttons, just a thin slot. You have nothing to go in that slot, I've though. I've got nothing that would fit. Nope. It must need a special card. Well, is there a card in this room? Probably not, because we only have a wrench. Maybe the sandwich, if we just jam it in there. I don't know. Joey? Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. Oh, look at that. There we go. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. Were you just waiting outside the door? Anyway, this is not Your good. Your Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But he's given me two leads. Overman and Link. Well, crap. Look at what just happened. The only problem is, is that Robert kind of just brushed that off with no problem. There is a guy who has just been cut in half with a laser. Pretty harshly, too, seeing that the, the fumes in the... And the, and the corpse, and the, uh... Joey, wake up, you metal moron! What happened? Apparently you fell asleep. You missed all the action. Couldn't help it. My anti-stress circuit took over. It seems security have mistaken me for a guy called Overman. All righty, then. Why'd you suppose that security guy got fried? Maybe we've got a guardian angel. I don't know. I can't imagine who. How could anyone mistake me, Joey? 
because you've got no personality, no distinctive characteristics. You are Mr. Potato Head. Thanks, pal. Now, one thing about jo what Joey just said, um, I'm gonna have to agree with Joey because we're gonna meet a lot of characters later on later on in the game that have loads more personality than what Robert has. I'm not gonna say my full bit on it right now, but just take my word for it. Joey is very true about what he just said about Robert. I'm gonna try to find that, Overman. How do you expect to do that? The population of this place could number millions. Give or take a few dead security agents. Well, do we have access to the entire city? I mean, really. Let's get out of here! Up and away! Now one thing I will actually want to do is keep talking to Joey and saying, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! Ever onward! Because he keeps saying different things, and it's nice. Let's get out of here! Farther up and farther in. What does that mean? Let's get out of here! Hi, I'm Barbie. I love you very much. I don't know why he said that. Let's get out of here! Why do you keep repeating yourself? True. But anyway, we might as well just check out this corpse, I suppose. Uh, Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. See, this is not the kind of way you're supposed to be taking seeing a body cut in half right in front of you. Unless you've seen it many times, Robert. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. For some reason. I don't Barbecued. know why. Barbecued. But that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna leave off with seeing this wonderful bloody corpse on the floor. And I'll see you next time when we exit the recycling plant. See you next time, everyone. Let's get out of here. Why do you keep repeating yourself? I like to. That's why. <laughs>